as someone uh, who literally led this developer tools and platforms revolution, what do you think is the future of programming in the context of generative AI and foundation models? You know, the, the first thing again, like that comes from my mind is this journey. We used to have this phrase uh, inside DevDev, right? You know, our goal is to is to is to do everything possible to let you, the developer, have to write only that line of code that only you can do, you can write. And we want to be able to do everything else for you. Okay. Now we didn't have generative AI technologies back then. We didn't have all the cool whiz bang thing that exists today, kind of thing, right? So our 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 whole rationale behind coming up with IntelliSense and auto code completion and other things is to say like, you know, hey, if there is a way we can help you and help you me be more productive, then we are going to do that. Okay. And that's what, you know, you know, kicked us off in the IntelliSense sort of, you know, direction way back when we did that. Okay. Now you look at today, like, you know, like you said, like, you know, auto, uh, no, sorry, um, GitHub Copilot, you know, depending you on who you talk to, People will tell you anywhere from 30 to 60 percent of your code can automatically be generated by Copilot. Okay. Now the question always is like, you know, why only 30 percent? Why only 45 percent? Why only 60 percent? Why not 70? Why not 80? Why not 90? Why not 99? Why not 100? Something kind of thing, right? And 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 it's really about. It's not about like, you know, hey, we don't want you to learn what it means to program, but it's about like, you know, hey, we want you to fo focus on doing things that only you are uniquely capable of doing as opposed to you having to reinvent the wheel 100 times because the system is inefficient in the process. Okay. Now, the reality is when somebody says like, you know, when, when Microsoft says, for example, like, you know, hey, we got customers telling us that 60% of the code that somebody needs to be writing is being automatically done by Copilot. That means automatically the next question is like, you know, hey, does it mean I don't need 60% of my programmers anymore? Okay. My view is a little different on that. Okay. The amount of code that is getting built in the world today uh, is exponentially higher than what it used to be even five years ago. Okay, because the world is relying on technology. The world is, you know, is, is revolves around technology kind of thing, right? Every company is a technology company. We've heard that. Okay, so in that world, what you want to do is you want to make sure that the developers that you have are highly, highly, highly productive and are able to solve more complex and complicated and like you know amazing problems for you to be able to drive your business forward. Okay, and I wouldn't be wanting to waste your developer's time on writing code that could be automated. Okay, so in my mind, I'm I'm all about saying like, hey, if this means there is a let's say a twenty percent productivity in in your organization, okay, and you got hundred developers, okay, that means think about what twenty developers can do more for you, and go figure out how to move the ball forward faster, better in the process kind of thing, right? Uh, so to me, like an automation al al always means on the one hand. Hey, I'm going to make it easier for people. That means like I need fewer people to do what I was doing yesterday, but I need to be doing more today. So let's figure out with the resources that I have, how do I best deploy them and use them and have them be productive so that I can continue running as well as I can. So, but, that is, only, but that is only the, the part about Git, uh, sorry, uh, GitHub Copilot is it's on code generation or code writing. But like, you know, when you think about software, there's all kinds of things that need to happen, right? You need to plan, you need to design, you need to write code, you need to test code, you need to think about security, you need to think about reliability, and then you need to think about project management, right? Whether your software project is coming together well or not. And AI can be applied to each and every part of that software development lifecycle, right? We are talking about Copilot, which is fantastic when you're writing code, but there are other things that go in, in sort of making a software project come to life and come to success and come to existence, right? And I fully see AI playing a major role in every step of the software development process that's going to only be beneficial for the world of software development.